Today we finally have our first gameplay patch of the year and I am absolutely beaming with joy because this update is amazing. We're gonna walk through all the patch notes. It did come out today so it's already live. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more MLB The Show stuff. So this patch basically addressed three of the biggest issues in gameplay and I think they did an incredible job on how they went about it as well. In my last patch notes video where I talked about the gameplay changes that I thought they needed to make, I mentioned how I thought they should nerf pinpoint and con contact swinging but just slightly it appears that they've done exactly that and in probably the best way possible so let's go over it first off we have the pinpoint pitching adjustments the release timing and direction now have a less lenient criteria for good and perfect pitches note this change can also be seen when using competitive gameplay style settings in offline modes. From the devs, we knew that pinpoint pitching would be a very difficult mechanic to master for some players and we knew we were going to need to make changes at some point once we got the feedback and the data. Now that we have the data, we agree with the feedback that it is just a little bit too easy right now in a competitive setting. This new change will make the timing window for good and perfect a little bit harder to achieve. So this is just an absolutely perfect change in my opinion, one of the top ways they could have fixed pinpoint. It did seem a little ridiculous at times to be getting that blue line on a perfect release and then your timing set early by like 0.05 seconds, which is kind of a lot. It remains to be seen just how much the timing window has changed and how hard it's going to be to get good or perfect now. And if it's incredibly strict, especially with timing, you could see a lot more pitches hanging down the middle or up. So that is going to be a really good change. Overall, I completely love Pinpoint as an interface. I think it's one of the best additions they've made to MLB The Show in a very long time. And I love the fact now that if someone doesn't have completely perfect input you still have a chance to get a mistake pitch as a hitter. Somebody asked me on stream last night if I think this will make low control pitchers worse. Obviously I'll have to get into the game and test it but I would assume it would. I'm not really sure though. I've wondered if there's some hidden mechanic for timing windows with pinpoint pitching like if they're tied to walks per nine attribute or something but overall in general I would assume a nerf to pinpoint pitching would make low control pitchers a little bit worse. But overall super good change. Very very happy about this and it'll be interesting to see how much pitching is affected online. And the new rig season starts in just a couple days, so I think this was perfect timing for the patch as well. It's going to be really fun having everyone's rating reset and diving into some of the new gameplay changes. All right, moving on from pinpoint pitching to an even more controversial topic. This was one of the most hated things in the community that I could see from online forums. Contact swings have finally been addressed, and again, I think they did it in a manner that is absolutely perfect. So let's go over it here. Contact swing is now less effective when used by power hitters. The higher the power, the greater the loss in miles per hour when you choose to use contact swing. This change should now display a more accurate trade-off between each swing type for high power batters. From the devs, contact swing was implemented to allow for shortening your swing and help extend ABs with two strikes or execute hit and runs at the expense of power. While examining the community feedback this year, we noticed that players with exceptionally high power attributes were not being impacted enough by using contact swing. The effects of using contact swing should sacrifice exit velocity for an easier timing window easier check swings and easier fouled off pitches. That last sentence is beautiful and by design that's exactly what contact swing should do. Contact swing was being used especially on higher difficulties just to have a bigger PCI and better timing window with no sacrifice to power. So now that there's a huge trade off with power you should see less contact swing home runs and it's definitely going to be best to just use normal swing all the time now in my opinion unless you're using a high contact low power guy which is an interesting concept to this change. Now I haven't tested it I'm going to have to try it and I haven't really tried it in past years but it seems like the way contact swing works this year hasn't really changed it's just that the penalty for high power hitters is higher so maybe there's a situation where you could contact swing with low power hitters and still get a power boost we'll see how that ends up playing out I, in all likelihood it's not going to work that way but if a guy like Tony Gwynn his 99 card later on could be better with a contact swing I think that would be an ideal change but overall again amazing change they kind of nerfed hitting and pitching at the same time too so the overall difficulty of both should remain around the same which I think is good I do think a lot of people that have been relying on contact swing up to this point are gonna struggle I do want to say one thing in regards to contact swing as well is that it's definitely not gonna go away when you're playing your opponents and it's very common when huge gameplay patches are dropped like this that a large majority of the player base just doesn't even know it happened I saw this happen a lot last year when they implemented changes to starting pitcher energy coming out of the bullpen last year using starters out of the bullpen was a huge issue because they would 
just lose energy at a normal rate as if they started the game. This meant 99 Corey Kluber, who was the best pitcher in the game, was closing for like three out of five games for people. And so they implemented a change where if a starting pitcher entered the game at all and threw a single pitch, he would automatically lose half his energy and then his energy would go down from there. In the post game menu, of course, not in game while it's happening. And after that update, I still saw a ton of people bringing multiple starting pitchers out of the bullpen for many weeks after the fact. And so the reason I bring that up is that you're still going to see a bunch of people contact swinging. Not only is there the factor that they might not know that this change was implemented, but it's also still a crutch for a lot of people. I just wanted to mention it so if you see it happening, you don't get frustrated. People are still going to foul off a ton of pitches when they're contact swinging. It's still going to be basically impossible to strike them out on All-Star if they're contact swinging. But the beauty of this change now is that once they finally figure out the timing and put one good swing after fouling off like 10 pitches, they aren't just going to hit a moonshot randomly. So just keep that in mind when you're pitching on the mound. If you think somebody's contact swinging, don't get frustrated. Just try to make them put the ball in play and you should see good results. But yeah, overall, this change is amazing. It's not going to make contact swing go away, but it's going to make it a lot less effective. And the third of the big changes, they are fixing the R2 button, which was another huge complaint of the community. So huge W here. Batters pressing R2 to view the pitch history will no longer impact the gesture portion of pinpoint pitching for the defensive player. If R2 is pressed at the same time or after the pitch motion is started, R2 will no longer interrupt the defensive user. If the batter presses R2 before the pitch motion has started, the motion will not start. From the devs, we intended R2 to be used in a way to let the batter stop the pitcher from quick pitching and take a breath and of course see the pitch repertoire and pitch history. In real baseball, it might be equivalent to the batter keeping their foot out of the box, for example. For that reason, we don't want to simply remove the feature entirely, but unfortunately we've seen players misusing it and causing grief for those who use pinpoint pitching. We hope this change alleviates some of that grief going forward. This is once again, I think, one of the most perfect ways they could have fixed this. So essentially, if you're already in your pinpoint motion, they can't press R2 at all. And if you haven't started your pitch motion yet and they're holding R2 and you're trying to pitch, then your pitch won't start until they finish holding R2. So by and large, it's basically incredibly difficult to mess with a pinpoint pitching timing using R2 now. Again, same with contact swing. It's not going to make it go away. People are still going to try it, but you can have solace knowing that this should help alleviate a lot of the issues. It's not going to take away the fact that someone could still hold R2 at the beginning of every at bat for five seconds to be annoying. But as far as the mechanics of pinpoint pitching, obviously a really good change and happy to see this. Not much else to say in regards to this change. Hopefully in a future iteration of the game, they make it so the batter can hold R2 as long or whenever they want, but that it just doesn't affect the pitcher at all. That would be my best long-term solution, but for the short term, this is a really good change as well. All right, and we're not done because even these small changes are amazing. Obviously the big gameplay changes are the meat of the patch, but a lot of these small ones are kind of overlooked and really, really good. So let's go over that. First off, and this is the one that kind of flew under the radar the most that I think is an amazing change. I mentioned last patch note that they'll probably address friendly quitting again. Added a confirmation dialogue to the friendly quit acceptance flow. So I assume what this means is that when you accept a friendly quit now, you're going to get a separate message that says like, are you sure you want to accept this friendly quit? Absolutely amazing change. They should have done this many years ago, but I'm super happy to see them doing it now. If this change is what I think it is and there's a separate prompt menu for accepting a friendly quit now, then all of the cheese of running your pause timer down to zero and then sending a friendly quit is going to be gone forever. So obviously I'm super excited about that. Seriously, an incredible change that, like I said, went under the radar in this huge patch. Users are no longer able to back out of the bullpen screen following a second mound visit. I actually didn't know that was a thing. Typically, if you mound visit twice within a certain period of time, you're forced to take your pitcher out. So I guess this is good if people were abusing that. And again, another under the radar change, they fixed three more freezes. So this is now obviously a trend where they're actively working to fix freezes, which again is an amazing thing for them to be doing. All three of these freezes specifically sound accidental. I haven't heard of them being used intentionally, but intentional or not, fixing freezes in general is obviously always going to be a plus. And finally, the last big, really good change, Darren O'Day no longer tips his pitches after selecting the pitch. I mentioned it in my last tier list video that that was one of the reasons that I had him rated so low, so he may end up being a little higher now. So shout out to SDS making Darren O'Day viable. He's definitely a unique card with the sidearm underhand delivery, so I'm glad he's going to be usable again at the higher levels. And that's about it for this patch, so overall, massive W. It'll be interesting to see with the new ranked season with all the people in World Series going back down to Hall of Fame, if people are going to be struggling to hit without the contact swing power, and also if people are going to be struggling to pitch if pinpoint is 
is a lot more strict. These changes definitely should increase the skill gap, so this next ranked season is going to be a lot of fun. Let me know what you think of these patch notes down in the comments section, what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. I'll see you all next time.